She mentioned your garage in one of her tweets. I, I, I have no idea what that means. Scott Baio appeared on ABC's Good Morning America Wednesday, where he denied the sexual abuse claims that have been leveled against him by his former Charles in Charge co-star Nicole Eggert. One day prior, Eggert appeared on NBC's Megyn Kelly Today to speak about claims she first made on Twitter. She told the host that Baio sexually abused her probably once a week, when she was 14 through 16 while the pair starred together on the CBS Family sitcom. On Wednesday, Baio told ABC anchor Amy Robach that he has, quote, proof that the first time they had sex was when Eggert was 18 not 17, as she alleges. He then repeated a claim he'd previously made during a Facebook Live video that he had posted in response to Eggert's tweets over the weekend. He referenced a previous on-air interview Eggert made on The Dirty, where she told host Nick Ritchie that the pair had sex long after the show ended. Bayo pointed out that when Charles in Charge ended in the fall of 1990, Eggert would have been at least 18. During her interview with Megyn Kelly, however, Eggert confessed that she had lied in previous interviews, including the one with Ritchie, in order to cover up the shame she felt from the sexual abuse. My truth is, is that I wasn't ready to tell my story. And for me, it was always protecting the show and protecting, you know, that whole legacy that nothing happened there. Richie, who shares a manager with Eggert, provided a statement about his interview with Eggert to both Kelly and to GMA, saying, Nicole was distraught after the interview. She told me it was much worse than she described on air. She said he molested me as a child and I didn't know any better. I can vividly remember that statement. It's not one you would forget. After reading Bayo the statement, Robach asked him plainly, what happened with you and Nicole when she was 14, 15, 16? Bayo replied, absolutely nothing. He described the set as being like a picnic every day. The actor also adamantly told Robach that he was never alone with Eggert on set, saying that it was impossible because when a child is on a set, they are either in school or they're on the set with the teacher and their parents. Eggert had disagreed with that opinion during her Megyn Kelly appearance. She also said that the alleged abuse often happened at Bayo's house. When asked about seeing her off the set, Bayo said he saw her around the studio lot. Then, to Eggert's claim that the first alleged molestation happened in Bayo's garage, he said, I have no idea what that means. He also said this. I'm trying to figure out which time she's lying and which time she's not lying uh, because the story seems to change quite a bit. Another Charles in Charge co-star, Alexander Polinsky, and a former guest star, Adam Carl, have supported Eggert's claims. Bayo told Robach, I don't know what they're saying, he added, and by the way, Nicole and I were friends after our only sexual encounter. She aggressively sought me out because she wanted me to be her first so that she would be good for her boyfriend those are her words. Bayo also said that should Eggert go to the police, why would I have a concern over something I didn't do? For the full interview clips from both GMA and Megyn Kelly today, go to th.com. Until next time, for The Hollywood Reporter News, I'm Tiffany Taylor.